I'm a bit late to the party, but recently we hit 250,000 subscribers here on the channel, which is kind of mental. Thank you so much, by the way. But I thought it was only right to have a little bit of a celebration, this time in the form of a fireworks show. Woo! Something like that, anyway. Just more. My plan is to turn my base here into a full-blown firework extravaganza. The only problem is, I don't know squat about fireworks. The inner rockets I know how to craft are the ones which make me fly fast, and they're not great for display. So basically, I need to go to fireworks school. Fireworks star. What is that? Dye plus gunpowder? So more dye means more color. Okay, I can't afford this. Diamonds now? Oh, so I still do need paper. Let's see if this one works. Oh, oh, okay, try again. Ow. No, 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 okay. <laughs> Must be faulty. And there we go. I have graduated with flying colors and now know everything there is to know about fireworks. Kind of. I read the wiki for five minutes and watched a YouTube tutorial. I actually spent way longer making that montage. Now I won't bore you with the specifics, you can go ahead and attend fireworks school if you wish, but essentially we need some items to make all of these fireworks. All of the dies for one, but that's no trouble at all, I got plenty of these. These are the items for the shape effects, glass pane, just gonna interrupt here and say, ignore the glass pane talk that I'm doing right now, I don't really know what I'm on about. <laughs> The video that I watched all about fireworks, essentially they used a glass pane to symbolize an empty spot. I just assumed you needed it for crafting. I was wrong. It's gold nuggets, fire charges, all good there. Player heads, I've only got these because I have a date pack installed, so I'm not going to use them. But feathers, don't have many feathers. We're going to need some more of those. And these for the additional effects. Glowstone, glass panes, no problem. Yeah, I, I did it again. No glass panes needed for this. Diamonds though, I don't really have many diamonds, so probably not gonna touch those. So essentially the only thing I really need to get is, well, feathers. But I'm not gonna worry too much about that for now and instead focus on where I'm actually gonna have this firework display. Originally, my plan was to have the fireworks show going pretty much all across my base here, but there's a slight hitch. Unfortunately, fireworks can only be seen from 64 blocks away, which is kind of limiting. So instead, we're going to keep it pretty well contained within this small area, basically right at the end of the mountains here. Okay, I think I've decided on a viewing spot for this. Just down this ways a bit, I've got this area of flat snow that I've been meaning to put something on for a while. Now, admittedly, at the current elevation, it's not really a great view. <laughs> but if we whip up a quick tower, we should get those extra blocks needed to actually see everything. So 64 blocks away is roughly there, just at the start of my main base with the big crystal. So we'll be able to have fireworks lighting up our base, kind of stretching over this whole area, which I think is going to be really cool. My plan is to basically place a bunch of dispensers throughout this whole area underneath the snow layers, and then we can connect them all up with some redstone wire going underneath. Which, now I say it out loud, actually sounds kind of tricky. I haven't really thought about how this is actually going to work from a redstone point of view, which is, you know, not really my strong suit. Okay, I just need a minute to think about how this is actually gonna work. Okay, I've been tinkering for a while and decided to totally scrap the original plan. The idea of having dispensers placed willy-nilly all over the base here is just not gonna work. It's too much for my little brain. <laughs> so instead, we're going to have a more compact showing all centered around my main base building here. And the viewing point was going to be up here on the tower of my train station, but, but we're too far away. It's like just over 64 blocks. So who knows how I was expecting to be able to see from down there. I don't think I've got a very good gauge on distance. After a quick deconstruction of the tower, followed by a reconstruction, it is now in its correct position. You do have to crank your neck a little bit to watch, it's not the best view. 
in reality, we'll probably just have this be the starting point and stand over here somewhere, which you have to crank your neck even more. <laughs> I'll most likely just stand on top of that tree. So the first thing I need to do now is to sadly craft a bunch of dispensers, unless I can use droppers instead. Let's see if this works. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a very sad firework display if we use droppers. Dispensers it is. Still to this day it blows my mind that there isn't a better recipe for the dispenser. Like, does it really need the bow? Oh, thank goodness. That felt like it took forever. <laughs> I think I need a break now. I shall not rest though, for I have to place all of these dispensers in a nice pattern around my base here. Now, I want to make this as easy as possible for myself when it comes to the redstone, so I have been busy digging a big old hole, which is where we're going to be placing all of the dispensers. I am underneath my base, by the way, in case that wasn't obvious. Of course, the next step is to place down all the dispensers and figure the layout of where they're all going to go. But first, allow me to just quell your worries that you may have about how this is going to work, given the fact there's a ceiling. Well, originally, I was just going to punch a hole through and have the firework rocket go out that way, but the dispenser was going to be right here, covered up with some snow, the snow layer to be specific. But unfortunately that is going to be a nightmare <laughs> to build, given the fact that it's all different Y levels depending on where the surface actually is, so I had to rack my brain on what else I could use. This block that makes me very cold may just be the only block that I can think of anyway to save this project. At least doing it in the way that I want to do it, which is the easy way. Okay, I should probably get out of here. Oh no, okay. <laughs> Bad idea, leather boots to the rescue. Get me out of there. But as you can see, the dispenser has no trouble shooting the firework through the powdered snow. So I gotta collect a whole bunch of this. Which unfortunately can only be done with buckets. I need a bigger inventory. Now here is the layout of all of the dispensers, and I know it probably looks like a bit of a jumbled mess at the moment, but there is a pattern, so if you can, just trust me on this one. I think I've got a pretty good idea of how I'm going to go about doing this. But as you can see pretty easily from down here, the powdered snow is in position, but from the upper levels on the outside, it's barely noticeable, which is really cool. And as you can see here, just a little example, we got our fireworks with the powdered snow right there. If we shoot it up, it goes all the way through and explodes in the sky. Because these dispensers are all at the same level, if we use the same fireworks, they're all just going to go off at the same height on the surface, which probably isn't going to look great. So what we're going to be doing to tackle that is changing the flight duration. So as you can see, my flight rockets, I just use one, meaning they don't go off for as long, but the flight duration three means they soar all the way up in the sky. So for the ones at the front here, we would maybe use just flight duration one, but the ones at the back here, this one's a pretty good example. As you can see, the powdered snow is quite far up there, so we kind of need flight duration three to even get out of the powdered snow. So we will have to change it up as and when we get to each dispenser. But that is a problem for future me to worry about. But for right now, I would just like to get out of this dingy hole for a bit. Oh. That was smooth. <laughs> I've got multiple entrances and exits, by the way, now, which is actually going to be really handy for building this. I think instead of doing the redstone, which I am dreading, to be honest, I'm going to build a chicken farm. Not necessarily for the chicken that we'll get from the farm, but instead the feathers that we can use to craft some fireworks later. And besides, you never know when you're going to need a bunch of feathers. Honestly, I can only think of a couple of reasons why you'd need feathers, but I only have three to my name, so it would be handy to just have a supply. Let me ask you, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, in this case, it was eggs. We need an egg farm before we can make a chicken farm. Whilst these guys are busy popping out the eggs, we can actually go ahead and build the chicken farm. Shouldn't you have grown up by now? I thought it was in like 40 seeds or something. Oh, there we go. This farm design is from somebody by the name of It's Mar Marlo Marlowe? It's Marlowe. Maybe. I don't know. Rubbish video. Yeah, it wasn't that fussed about him, but the design's alright, so I thought I'd use it here. Yeah, that should probably be enough to stock the chicken farm. Mistakes have been made. I was trying to keep them all in their hopper holes, but they just kept getting out, and I kinda have just given up. <laughs> so, hopefully, I can squeeze them all back in. What if I do this? 
Why, why didn't they move? <laughs> they all just turned their head. That was terrifying. So I've got most of them in position. There are a few stragglers, but I can assure you they will be dealt with later once they've grown up and are able to give me feathers. Like these guys over here. So whilst our chickens here are producing lots and lots of feathers, ethically, of course, I am going to try and make a start on the redstone. I have actually already kind of made a start. I just haven't placed any redstone yet. Instead, I've got this. <laughs> the first thing you need to know is the bottom of the tower here is where the redstone is going to start. We'll have a button up here to trigger it and then it will shoot off into four different directions. And essentially each of those directions or colours are leading to sets of dispensers. So the yellow line is leading to the majority of the dispensers that kind of wrap around the base here on both sides. The magenta line is going to these three dispensers, same on the other side again, that is just a little bit away from the base and they're going to be right next to each other. Then we've got the green line here going to a single dispenser on both sides and we'll have something maybe a bit bigger in this one to stand out amongst the rest. And then the light blue line here is leading to the big finisher. This dispenser is going to have not necessarily the best rockets in, but it's probably going to have the most. There's a lot that are going to get shot out of here. Now of course we don't just want a single pulse going to all of these dispensers, firing them once and then being done with it. So what I'm doing right now, or at least I think I'm doing, <laughs> is setting up a clock. So each of these directions is going to have their very own clock, I've already set up the yellow line too. And when we power it, we'll get onto how this is actually going to work in a bit, it's not just going to be a lever, but we should, if I could just get back down there set up a system that pulses it on and off. Cool. I did a redstone. <laughs> so that way we can keep on firing the dispensers multiple times. I know nothing's happening at the moment, but these are the sounds that I want to be hearing. All of these clicks are going pretty much as expected. Just imagine for every click, there's a firework. I think I've got the timings all sorted through and through. It's just the final finale line I need to do. And because it's the finale line, it's coming last, which means a lot of repeaters. And I've only got five. I've placed a lot of repeaters. Probably too many repeaters, if we're being honest. I'm sure there is a more efficient way to go about this, but I couldn't think of it. So what we have here is essentially a roughly 50 second delay starting from the start point over there, all the way up until the finale dispenser over there just next to this observer super clicker. I'm sure you can see what's going to happen here. The only trouble with something like this is that it kind of just keeps going a lot longer than the rest of the lines. So essentially I'm adding in a kill switch for this line. So when the show is done and I want to stop the observer super fire, I just flick a lever and it'll cut the line, stopping the redstone signal from passing through. Again, all of this is incredibly basic. I'm sure there are more efficient ways to go about doing pretty much everything you're looking at here. I just don't know what they are. So you are more than welcome to let me know what they might be in the comments below. I would really appreciate that. There's just one last redstone thing I want to bore you guys with, and that is how we're actually starting the firework show. It is essentially going to be the press of a button, but it's kind of two buttons. So we're going to have a wooden button down there with a dispenser. This is going to be tricky to place, going to have to go into crouch mode and plonk it down like that. Oh, that got dark. <laughs> Let me crawl my way out. And then in that dispenser, we're going to fill it up with arrows, place a block on top, and then we'll just have to place a button here. And then we can press this and it will shoot an arrow into the oak button, triggering the whole display and that arrow will despawn after one minute. So essentially, we've got a perfect one minute firework display. Anyway, enough redstone talk, let's craft some rockets. So to fill up all of my dispensers, I'm going to need over 20,000 rockets, which sounds like a lot, but it's not really when you think that it's mostly just gunpowder and paper, which I've got plenty of. And I would like to have it so that each dispenser has different fireworks in, preferably nine different ones. Then every time we watch the show, it'll be a little bit different. 
I've been crafting rockets for a while now, about the duration of this time lapse, and let me just tell you, I have massively underestimated the expense of these things. Mainly just the dyes to be honest, it's a lot of colours. So that means in all of these dispensers we only have 3 stacks of fireworks, which is better than 1, but it's not quite 9. I suppose the bonus is, they are refillable, I can top these dispensers up, I'm just not really gonna be in a rush to do so. Just as a temporary addition to the base, I have added in this trap door. It will be going once we do the opening ceremony, but I thought for the first showing I should probably have a pretty good view. Which I think I do, those blocks over there which is where the farthest fireworks come up, I don't think that's 64 blocks away, but I suppose there only really is one way to find out. Okay, the sun is getting low, we are nearly ready to fire this thing, just gonna wait for night to encroach a little further. I've set up a wooden button at the bottom there so I can hopefully shoot it. <laughs> we'll see how that goes, I just didn't want to have to panic fly up here and try and land on a one by one block. Also, fingers crossed, no skeletons spawn here and try and shoot me. Okay, that sun is low enough for my liking, let's get our bow out and hopefully I can shoot this thing first time, we'll see. But. Thank you everybody so much for 250,000 subscribers, I hope you enjoy the show. Did I do it? I did it! I did it! Oh wow, I can't believe that. <laughs> Here we go, oh look at all the colours! Look at all the colours go, all the shapes and the- oh that was a big one that was. Oh the multicolour big burst, they are pretty. It's a little bit low to the ground, <laughs> maybe should have done more flight duration 3 ones, but actually I kind of like the varied height. Just make sure you don't walk around down there. I might die <laughs> if I do. Oh, there we are. Some of the triple ones are going. That's cool. Oh, it is very pretty. I can't lie. I only ever tested this with single color fireworks. This is a lot better. <laughs> and I think we can just about make out the ones at the back too. Oh, here come some of the ones at the front. At some point soon, we are going to get the big finale all spraying out the front here, which I am excited for. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Oh, look at that. That is a lot of pixels. <laughs> I'm not sure how well this is going to be registering on YouTube, but that is nice. That is very, very pretty to watch. Okay, manual override needed. I need to turn this thing off. One, before that creeper blows me up that I just saw, and two, so I can stop wasting fireworks. Ow! Skeleton, please. I'm trying to enjoy the show. Okay, that was really cool, but uh, I don't like the dark. It scares me around my base. <laughs> I don't have much of it lit up, so I need to go to bed first. I'm curious. I wonder how many firework rockets I actually have left after all that. I'm guessing I've still got a fair amount. I mean, not that many got shot off other than right at the end. Let's see. Okay, barely any got used. That is fantastic. That makes me feel very good about all the time I spent crafting. I suppose next time there's cause for celebration, maybe we can set this thing off again. So that's going to do it for this episode everybody, I really hope you enjoyed watching, thank you once again so much for 250k, still wrapping my head around that number right now, but it's all thanks to you guys, I appreciate you all so very much, and yeah, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, it has been a blast. Oh yeah, <laughs> bye for now.